you remember last fall when I showed you the best dirt in Alabama video? Well, that dirt came from sawdust, and I wanted to show you what it looks like now after setting here for several weeks, several months, really. Um, this is composted sawdust. What does sawdust look like after years? Well, here it is. Isn't this just beautiful? Absolutely beautiful dirt. I'm gonna drop some here. Now, if you look close, you can see that almost all of this is worm castings. Now, before we picked this dirt up, the worms had already been in it. But after setting it here, and you can see I've started to dig this out, I found so many worms that just keep coming up through this pile and you can get down in here where the worms have been in the, this winter look at this there's a worm right there now there's a lot of baby worms in here I just every time I come and access this pile I find baby worms and, and really just composting worms that have come up from the ground. Let's talk about the placement a little bit. We put this right here in the garden so that all this dirt would, you know, the nutrients from this dirt would leach down in and help to create more soil. And uh, the garden soil that we have here just really isn't that great. So uh, we've got to build every, I mean, that's why I'm composting so much is just to build all the soil. I'm looking for other soil while I'm why I'm using wicking gardens and a gray water filtration system rather than trying to plant traditionally in this nasty red clay soil. So I know a lot of good things can happen by continuing to reinforce the ecosystem that we have here on the property. Um, but I just wanted to share with you what this dirt looks like after setting here through the winter and, and it, what this sawdust really looks like because that's what this is. It's, about 20 year old sawdust that has been composted by worms um, over the past few years. And then this year after moving it here onto the property, uh, onto our property, it's already been filled up with worms. And um, I've been using this dirt in the compost bins to activate it and to make it hot. So this symbiotic system is starting to work together and it's starting to feel good. So that's what gardening should do for you. It should feel good. And if there's something that doesn't feel good about your gardening, then you're probably bucking the system or you're probably doing something that just isn't natural. And uh, I know when I first started, if you go back and look at some of my previous videos, um, some of my first videos in the first six months, you'll see that I was trying to do everything I could to do things organically but use products from the store. And now, uh, and it didn't feel good. Um, I had problems with uh, plants being burned. Um, I, I had problems with the applications or the, I had to get equipment to apply the stuff. Um, I had to spend money on it in the first place. But the alternative option is to go to your neighbors and use your community resources and to organically fertilize um, your property. And that's what we're doing here. Gardening should feel good. It shouldn't feel stressful. It shouldn't feel rushed. Um, it's really not that hard. If this video has been helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And share the video. If it's been uh, informative for you, then it's probably going to help some other people as well. And well, the more people that we, the more people we collaborate with together, the greater of an impact we're going to make um, collectively. And that's what this, this uh, is about, is working together. So thank you all for watching and more to come soon.